We're dry again, so we got a break in the rain, which you know some people like, but others who are trying to keep track of how much rain we should have aren't so happy about this rain break. Uh, according to the National Weather Service, we are eight to nine inches behind where we really should be for rainfall. And here at Lake Washington, the lake actually fell below its normal levels this time uh, th so far this year. It did go back up, so that's good news, but we have a long ways to go before we make up any of that rain. The whole area really lagging behind in rainfall altogether. Take a look at these graphs on your screen right now. The city put these out just to show people exactly uh, where things stand. The red lines show what we saw for rainfall, snowpack, and reservoir storage this year. There are all below 2022 levels and 20 year comparisons. Now we spoke to officials at Seattle Public Utilities and the National Weather Service about the lack of rain this year and how it's impacting our local reservoirs. It's really not projected to sufficiently replenish our mountain reservoirs. We need sustained ongoing fall rains in order to do that. It's get us back in the right direction, but it's, it's still got a long ways to go. Yeah, so Seattle Public Utilities asking, you know, it's more than 1 million customers to do what they can. So it's, it's a voluntary request to cut back on your shower time, to not leave water running constantly in your kitchen while you're, you know, moving around doing dishes, that sort of thing, and maybe cut back on watering the lawn. And with the rainfall, that should help things as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But even with those things, there's going to still be some concern. It could take us weeks, if not months, to kind of get back to where we need to be in terms of rainfall and water reservoir levels. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News.